Core Ship Modeler is specialized in fine handcrafted ship models and custom builds. You can find us on Facebook at Handcrafted Wooden Historic Ship Models. So, hello and welcome to another video from Double Ship Modeler. My name is John and this will be another video, short video, uh, from unboxing. Unboxing this time from the Harley Davidson Everlade Classic from Tamiya. Uh, street part number item number 16040 and as you can see already compared to my face it's a really huge model only the carton measure is already 60 centimeters so 24 inches by 40 centimeter or 16 inches so this is really huge because it's a one six scale anyway uh, as you know me, this is not my usual stuff I'm doing. Normally I'm building the wooden ships and uh, I did a lot of plastic models before, but not so many, took it too. Not so many, that's not my specialty. But the customer likes to have a, a, a model of his motorcycle and it will include also a little di diorama or let me see a backdrop. Uh, means the fountain of an old western style bar. Uh, so, um, there is something else. The customer has a uh, Harley Davidson Electra Glide. There is no, let me say, other model what fits or what is closer to his motorcycle, to his original motorcycle. There is no other model. So, there will be a lot of conversions to do on this model and let us see where this is going anyway. Uh, the one who expected maybe an update of the seeking has to wait 3 or 4 days because right now it's outside and uh, it, it will be prepared for painting tomorrow. Uh, but I decided to make the uh, uh, unboxing video first because I promised be, be, uh, to make an unboxing video between the uh, uh, update of the Seeking. So, three to four days, then the hull of the Seeking is finished, the deck is already plunked, and, but you will see it uh, in the next update. Anyway, this video will be about the unboxing of the Tamiya Harley Davidson Everlade FL8 Classic. So, let us see what is inside. So, as I said already before, it's a really huge carton and uh, 24 by 60 inches or 60 by 40 centimeters. And uh, I'm really excited what is inside. It has a little small damage on the uh, corner from carrying around. But anyway, no damage inside because I checked it already. So where we start, left side, so where, what we have here, there is the subcase, the headlight cover, the seat and uh, the city bar, I believe it's called city bar, um, that's one pack, the next pack is the uh, exhaust system, uh, some, uh, what do you call this, bars, uh, I think that's also part of the exhaust system and some smaller chrome parts and the chrome parts will be my biggest challenge at all uh, because I believe that uh, Harley Davidson is one of the most converted motorcycles anyway uh, so I know already that a lot of chrome parts are different on the original than on in this model so I'm really looking around what to do with this chrome parts. Okay, there we have some engine parts, the board, uh, side cover, so transmission cover. Uh, back side we have a two part chain, uh, plastic usually. And uh, I really don't know what other parts right now because I think it's some parts of the battery and. Um, uh, air cleaner maybe I'm not so sure because I did not check each part uh, looks all really nice and crisp and finally we will see this when we open each package so there we have uh, the brake discs um, signal like covers there are some little screws and all 
about those springs. I know from the cover already that the front and the rear suspension of this model is fully function. So that's also something really interesting. Anyway, it's around six k, so they have to put something amazing stuff. Or let me see, uh, let me say uh, some special stuff in this kit so that uh, customers uh, get excited. What I'm really exciting is are the screws. I really don't know yet for what they are. I believe it's maybe for the suspension system, so let us be surprised. Okay, there we have uh, some other clear parts, the windshield uh, and the uh, headlight cover. Uh, not really shiny, so they have to be polished, that's the, that's the very, very sure. So let them look much better. Uh, there are the footrests uh, and some other little parts. As I said, I'm not always sure for what it is as long as I did not check the uh, parts list. There we have the uh, rims. Mm, yeah, looks like an aluminium finish, but it's plastic. Looks okay. Not super, but looks okay. As I said, anyway, you have to do a lot of conversions and I don't know yet uh, what's the uh, original motorcycle of the customer. There we have a side cover, including the uh, uh, cover, uh, side case, including the cover. I don't know where yet where's the other one. There are two covers, but I they stuck together. Anyway, so that's the side suitcases. Here we have a lot of bars, chrome and uh, I think that's cover for uh, the headlights. There are two aluminium tubes. That's really something I really don't know yet what it is. As I check the cover of the bucket, it looks like that this is the um, uh, upper part of the front suspension. I'm not so sure. Okay, here we have the main frame. Uh, it's a two part, basically it's a two part. Looks pretty much okay. Nothing really special. Here are the tires. And if you compare it to my hands, they are really huge. So, I think that they are around 4 inches in diameter, so, and they are made from rubber. Also, really nice and big. There we have another sport with the, uh, what do you call this? I forgot the name in English. In Bisaya it's a uh, 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 tapaludo, and in German it's the Schutzblech. Uh, there are also the um, four part tank, or tank is one part but made of four parts, and the rear fender, it, you know, now I remember, it's a fender, that are the fenders, the rear, the front, and I don't know why there are three, so anyway, we will check this out later. So, another... Uh, sport with chromatized plastic main stand. Um, not so sure yet for what is this. Looks like something I don't know. Anyway, uh, for the footrest and uh, front suspension, but I'm very sure front suspension. So, next part also chromatized uh, plastic. There is the uh, air cleaner cover. Not so sure for what is this. This looks like there is the speedometer, and now we have some gold outside, what you hear in the background. I hope it will not disturb. Anyway, uh, in each video I make the some background noises from animals, so you know that I'm not living in a city. Okay, going back to this unboxing. There are the uh, rear mirrors and some bars and some really tiny things. I'm not sure yet for what it is. Next through, there is the drive chain cover, I believe. 
part of the front suspension uh, under part of the seat and the wheel hubs. Here we have the uh, spark kits and trans sorry, transmission cover and there are a lot of engine parts. I believe that's the injector pump or I'm not so sure. Uh, lever, uh, lever bars, uh, sorry, handle bars, uh, and other stuff. This last fruit is uh, mostly from the headlight and signal. Uh, headlight and signal. And some other little items, but mostly about the light. So, there is the last handle bar. There are another two aluminium parts, so now I'm getting confused. Anyway, I will find it out later on. Uh, clear red uh, tail light and uh, side light, and this is, I believe, the uh, ah, battery cover. Let me put it. Somebody is. Uh, you can read it. <laughs> Ah, that's for the rear damper boot. Okay, so that, is, that I was right, the other one was for the front suspension. This is for the rear suspension. So, what we have else in this uh, new package? There are some decals uh, with the fine lines on the edge of the cover, so means fender and headlight cover and uh, else. And I don't know what is there, but there are also decals, I'm very, very sure about that. And there are the instructions. As usual, first two pages, or maybe three, three, two and a half pages of the history of Harley Davidson, then what tools are advisable, but that's uh, for decided to for each uh, of yourself. Uh, what colors? Sure, they advertise that you're using Tamiya colors, but I'm really using Tamiya colors. And then comes the instruction themselves. So we're starting with the front suspension, frame, drive chain, rear suspension, going over to the engine, installing engine, engine rear fender with tail light, uh, battery. Uh, there are two uh, pictures of the original engine, so that you have to, can you compare the uh, what they delivered in the kit and what is really on the original? It's also really seldom. Okay, then going to the rear damper, tires, materials, and so on, and so on, and so on. And this will be continue up to the time the model is finished. And <laughs> last thing, as usual, color coding and where to put the decals and all like this. And that is also really nice. Uh, I don't know, because uh, as I told you, not uh, into so much plastic model, more on wood. Um, but we also have this in the wood models that each fruit has a number or letters. Uh, so that you know where each part is and there are also the screws and back side is aftermarket service part code ah, okay i see i see where you can order uh, spare parts there are some kind of some other fine lines uh, that is i'm really sure that is for the tires so they have a white wall tires and that's the decals for the tires and it's water decals i don't know if they stick so well on the um, uh, rubberized I, I never tried it anyway so i hope that you enjoyed this unboxing video and that you get excited when we finally will start this model as me also i'm already horrified <laughs> because I know that there are so many conversions on this kit that uh, I was already thinking to build it from scratch. 
but anyway, uh, to build a complete model from scratch, I need, need a lot more of machines. What I still do not have, I'm playing, uh, uh, I'm thinking about to buy some of the machines, but that needs money and uh, for that I'm a little bit short. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video and see you next time on the update of Beast the King. Have a great day and enjoy your hobby. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel. That way you get immediate update for our new videos that we are going to post every week.